3,000 meters finals. And the first final is the B final between the People's Republic of Korea, the Netherlands, the USA, and picture there, and Germany. Bit a little disappointing for the Americans, bronze medalists in uh, 94, Nilla Hammer, silver medalists in Alberville, but uh, nothing here, just a B final and uh, skating for pride. And, uh, a little bit of Archie Baji at the start, and it's the Koreans who take the lead. The Netherlands second, USA third, Germany at the back. The People's Republic, fourth in the World Championships in Beijing in 93, but nothing since. Netherlands seventh in the World Championships when they were held here in Nagano. Third place for America, fourth place for Germany. Four laps gone. Well, the Americans were really pushed out of it on that opening bend, but uh, working their way back in contention. Netherlands in uh, second place, but going wide. It's uh, Melanie de Lang in second. Chasing the Koreans. Almost a fall there from the Americans. And Sang Mi, it is who leads. Netherlands taking second place. Helen Hendrika Vigas. Hands over to uh, Maureen De Langer. Two De Langers here, Maureen and Melanie. And the other member of the quartet from the Netherlands is uh, Anka Yanni Landman. And again, the Americans in all kinds of trouble. Well, they fell, didn't they, in their semi, which is how they got into this situation. Well, Kathy Turner almost had to do an axle to get out of the way. So leading off for Korea, Won Hee Kyung, and they've opened up a 10-meter gap now. Netherlands second, USA third, and out go Germany. And now very nearly three quarters of a lap behind. So it'll be between the front three. Korea first, USA, despite the harem scarum stuff, second, Netherlands third, and Germany right out of it. Just gone beyond halfway now and they're closing on the Koreans. It's Kathy Turner there for the United States of America. And uh, she's right up in contention now. Erin Gleason takes it up for the USA. A change from the Koreans. And now a change from the Americans. Kathy Turner. One of the uh, leading lights in short track over the last few years. 35 years old now. And the Americans take it up. Amy Peterson leads the way for America. Korea second, Netherlands third. This is developing into quite a race. Six and a half laps to go. USA, Netherlands second now. Korea back in third, the People's Republic of Korea. Germany right out of it and maybe laps. And this is Kathy Turner again. Order stays the same. Netherlands looking for a, a way in on the inside, but it's Korea who are trying the move. Closed door though. But out they go on the outside. It's more Melanie de Langer for the Netherlands. Second just in front of Korea, but the Koreans now making their push and desperately close. They get second place with one and a half laps to go. It's going to be an American victory. And it's going to be Netherlands second. Porter it is who brings the American home and they take this B final.
Well, they certainly made heavy weather of it. There were some very, very dicey changes. They uh, seemed to get tangled up in the changes from the other teams. And uh, on three occasions, I spotted, almost came, uh, came a cropper. But uh, they came good at the end. The Dutch trying to fight back. But uh, the Americans were too strong over the final few laps. There's the Dutch team, and uh, with about three laps to go, I felt that uh, they looked very strong indeed. Well, some consolation from the Americans that uh, wasn't very dignified on occasions. They were battling to stay upright, but they did so. And we'll be pleased as punch that uh, they've got something to show for it. Restored a little bit of pride, but how dearly they would have loved to have got a medal here. Here we see some of the action. You can see how close the skaters get. They're really motoring around there, and uh, it's chaos at some points. See the Americans coming up for a change now. Well, it really has whetted our appetites for the uh, the final, the A final. It's going to be fantastic. And the A final between uh, Korea, Japan, the People's Republic of China, and Canada. But they're the result of the B final. USA first, Netherlands second. Korea led for so long, third, the People's Republic, Germany fourth. So what a battle we've got coming up. Korea, the gold medalists in 1994 in Lillehammer. The People's Republic of China, world champions back in 95. The USA, bronze. People's Republic of China and Canada. Olympic news is next. You'll be back for the A final right after this. It's to go before the A final in the ladies' 3,000 meters relay. Just to remind you of the lineup in that A final, it'll be Korea. The reigning champions, the gold medalists from Lillehammer. Japan, fourth in the Olympic Games in uh, 1992. Canada, the reigning world champions who won their title in this very ring here in Nagano last year. And the People's Republic of China, world champions in 95, but disqualified in both the Olympics so far, 94 and 92. Korea hold the world record and they hold the Olympic record. All four of these finalists beat the existing Olympic record in the semi. First it was Japan and Canada. The existing record was 426.64. Japan and Canada going through a couple of seconds inside and then Korea going in 421 and China in 422 in the second semi. So it promises to be very tight and you wouldn't bet against a world record going here. And Chris, the Koreans go in as favourites. Yeah, they certainly do, but it's going to be white-knuckle stuff, this. A fantastic duel, and uh, we've already seen how dangerous the sport is and uh, how close the skaters get. Anything could happen in this. Olympic gold medal at stake, and uh, the battle between the Chinese and the Koreans will be something to behold. The Canadians, are, you know, they're in there as well, and uh, the Japanese are inspired anyway, aren't they? Yes, they are. They are overachieving time after time here in Nagano. Canadian team, Christine Boudria, Isabelle Charest, Annie Perrault, Tanya Bisson. For China, Sun Dan Dan, Wang Chang Yu, and then uh, the two Yang Yang sisters. For Japan, Sachi Ozawa, Chikage Tanaka, Ikyu Tashigarawa, and Nobuko Yamada. For Korea, and 
Sang Mi, Choi Ming Kyung, Chun Li Kyung, and Won Hee Kyung. Leading off for China will be Wang Chun Yu. 27 laps of the track and uh, a full start. It was the Canadians who jumped the gun. Fast and furious. And it's Canada in front. Canada in front from China, Korea third, and Japan at the back at the moment. Well, that was obviously the game plan, get off quickly from the gun and uh, lead all the way. Canadians dictating the pace now. And the Koreans, the favourites, the champions back in third. It's Christine Boudria leading. And Sun Dun Dan for China, Korea third. Taking over for Canada, Tanya Visson. And for China, Yang Yang. Koreans closing up now, and the Japanese. Look how close it is. This really is something else. And people standing up to our left, the uh, Korean contingent. A lot of work to do for them. Still third. China lead now, Canada second, Korea third, Japan three or four metres off the pace. But they were lucky there, the Japanese nearly were wiped out on the changeover. They've lost quite a bit of uh, distance now. I've got to fight back. And oh. Pro leads off, pushes Christian Boudria. And look at the Japanese trying to get past the Koreans. The Koreans are languishing now. The gold medalist in Lillehammer, the reigning Olympic champions. China stealing a march here. This is Yang Yang. Now the Koreans make their move and overtake the Canadians and the Japanese are out of it. No medal for the Japanese unless we have one more fall. You never know at this pace there could be another. So they need to keep going and pick up anything that might happen. The Koreans are hauling the Chinese in at the halfway stage in this 3,000 metres relay. For the Canadians, they've got an awful lot of work to do. A change from them now, and uh, they're trying to fight and get back in contention. The Japanese soon to be lapped. Yes, forget the figure in black. It's the one in red that matters. Yang Yang for China. And for Korea, it's Wong Hee Kyung. Desperately close now. Coming around with nine laps to go. Just a couple of metres in it. China, remember, who haven't finished in the medals at either Olympics in this relay. Disqualified in Lillehammer, disqualified in Albeville. But holding a one metre lead, now the Koreans Poised to attack. It's Kim Yun Mi. And pushing off Chun Li Kyung. But still the Chinese hold off. Sun Dun Dan it is. The Canadians are out of it. It's between the two in picture. And what a race it is. Five laps to go. Still it's China somehow holding the Koreans off. But well, it's going to go right down to the wire. A real battle of tactics and you can see the Chinese trying to block the road on the inside the Koreans take a look down the outside desperately close on the change for China it's Wang Chin Yu and it's Ang Sung Mi for Korea and this will be the last changeover and the Koreans take it in front it's Kim Yun Mi for Korea and for China it's Yang Yang the bell. It looks like Korea. Kim just holding off. The last corner and they cross the line and Korea have
have won the gold. Two gold medals for Korea on the opening day of the short track. And didn't she do well? Well, fantastic scenes on the side of the rink. The uh, team just lunging over the boards and the coaches there giving all of them a big hug. Fantastic shots and uh, the people are going wild in here. Yes, the only people who are disappointed are the Chinese. Look at that. That's way up to our left. Absolutely thrilled. Korea take the gold, China the silver, and the Canadians are beside themselves because they've won the bronze. World champions, but obviously they had a real threat from the Japanese. The Japanese fell. And look how delighted the Canadians are. Christine Boudria, number one. Isabel Charest there with a the number two helmet. Annie Perot, number three. And Tanya Visson.